Narrated by Abu Huraira. The Prophet peace be upon him said, O Muslim women. None of you should look down upon the gift sent by her female neighbor even if it were the trotters of the sheep, fleshless part of legs. Narrated by Orway. Aisha said to me, O oh my nephew. We used to see the crescent, and then the crescent and then the crescent in this way we saw three crescents in two months and no fire, for cooking, used to be made in the houses of Allah's messenger peace be upon him. I said, O oh my aunt. Then what used to sustain you, Aisha said, the two black things, dates and water, our neighbors from Angsar had some manar and they used to present Allah's messenger peace be upon him some of their milk and he used to make us drink. Narrated by Abu Huraira. The Prophet peace be upon him said, I shall accept the invitation even if I were invited to a meal of a sheep's trotter, and I shall accept the gift even if it were an arm or a trotter of a sheep. Narrated by Sahal. The Prophet peace be upon him sent for a woman from the emigrants and she had a slave who was a carpenter. The Prophet said to her order your slave to prepare the wood, pieces, for the pulpit. So, she ordered her slave who went and cut the wood from the tamarisk and prepared the pulpit, for the Prophet. When he finished the pulpit, the woman informed the Prophet peace be upon him that it had been finished. The Prophet peace be upon him asked her to send that pulpit to him, so they brought it. The Prophet peace be upon him lifted it and placed it at the place in which you see now. Narrated by Abdullah bin Abu Qatayda al-Islami. That his father said, One day I was sitting with some of the Prophet's companions on the way to Mecca. Allah's messenger peace be upon him was ahead of us. All of my companions were in the state of Iram while I was a non murim They saw an onager while I was busy repairing my shoes, so they did not tell me about it but they wished I had seen it. By chance I looked up and saw it. So, I turned to the horse, saddled it and rode on it, forgetting to take the spear and the whip. I asked them if they could hand over to me the whip and the spear but they said, No, by Allah, we shall not help you in that in any way. I became angry and got down from the horse, picked up both the things and rode the horse again. I attacked the onager and slaughtered it, and brought it, after it had been dead. They took it, cooked some of it, and started eating it, but they doubted whether it was allowed for them to eat it or not, as they were in the state of Iram. So, we proceeded and I hid with me one of its four legs. When we met Allah's messenger peace be upon him and asked him about the case, he asked, Do you have a portion of it with you? I replied in the affirmative and gave him that fleshy foreleg which he ate completely while he was in the state of Iram.